Yesterday, on April Fools, someone sent me the link to a YouTube video which was talking about how not to pay council tax, and even had a link to lots of documents that someone's put together, including PDFs, about how to go about disputing your liability to pay council tax. Now, just to be absolutely clear at the beginning, I wish this was an April Fools joke, but it's not. The video was real, the documents are real. The only thing that isn't real is the contents. There is no way of avoiding your obligation to pay council tax, so allow me to explain. Plane. So these documents even set out a whole process that they suggest that you go through, suggesting that there is no obligation upon anyone to pay council tax. And in a very, very narrow circumstance, they're right, because there is no obligation on anyone to make a payment until they're issued with a bill in their name, which means they then have an obligation to pay council tax. If there are two people liable to pay the council tax, then it will be a joint and several liability on each of those people to pay the council tax. Usually this person is going to be the person that is living in the property, but sometimes of course it will just be the owner of that property that is liable. But the documents that this video referred to are fundamentally flawed, misconceived, misguided and plain wrong. You see, on page four of this PDF, it says, all acts require consent to be given the force of law. They are merely rules and regulations. They are not law. They're now let's break that down for a minute. This is a statement that's going around on social media, which is fundamentally untrue. It's fundamentally wrong. So if you see any social media talking about this, please don't listen to it. Don't follow it. You're going to cause yourself significant problems. The only way, the only conceivable way that you can take steps so that acts of parliament don't apply to you is to cease to become a UK citizen. You could, in theory, make a declaration that you are a stateless person or formally surrender your citizenship. Anything else would just be your declaration of a belief with no effect in law whatsoever. And there's a very simple reason for this, and that is that all citizens of the UK are considered subjects of the Crown within the framework of the UK's constitutional monarchy. If you choose to remain in the UK as a UK citizen, you are by default choosing to accept everything that goes along with it, such as the state system, the state benefits, taxes, educational grants, voting rights, and all of the laws, including Acts of Parliament, that goes along with it. As I said, the only alternative, in theory, is to cease being a UK subject, which means you have to leave the UK, or you have to apply for indefinite leave to remain in the UK as a non-citizen, but then you would have to comply with all of the various restrictions that goes along with applying for indefinite leave to remain, which, by the way, includes a requirement that you're going to abide by the laws of the United Kingdom. The very idea or the concept of this consent to be governed comes from the work of John Locke, a philosopher from the 1700s, but it has no real meaning today in the sense that it's put out on social media where people say, I don't consent to be governed. Whilst the theories of John Locke helped to form the US Constitution and its Declaration of Independence, these were never incorporated into any UK equivalents or Magna Carta and thus has no bearing on the UK whatsoever. But coming back to these documents, the second part said there is no law requiring anybody to pay tax of any kind. That's not true either. Roll the clip. Now at the bottom half of this page it then goes on to say therefore the burden of proof is on the council to prove the obligation exists. Yes, they do that by sending you a bill for council tax because the council tax applies to the property because it's part of the UK. So long story short, if you follow any of the advice contained in these documents and don't pay your council tax, my suggestion to you is that that is quite likely going to be one of the quickest routes to bankruptcy you could find. So if you see any of these documents, please do treat them with all scepticism that they deserve. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments down below and the likely outrage that will ensue from this video. And by outrage, I mean one or two people commenting vehemently how wrong I am about these documents. Thanks for watching.